with High Tech Legion, and we'll be taking a look at the ASUS Republic of Gamers Maximus 4 Extreme Motherboard. This is the new P67B3 revision for the P67 chipset. It supports the second generation of Intel Core processors. It is SLI and Crossfire X ready. If we open the flap to the motherboard, it reveals what's inside. Of course, the motherboard itself, as you can see, I already have the processor inside the motherboard. On the top flap, you'll see some of the features, what it does, ROG Connect, connect to your computer uh, wirelessly so you can change settings on the fly. It has Bluetooth also, and it has USB BIOS flashback. The back of the box shows some of its features also with a few pictures. And if we open the box and take out its contents, we'll see the motherboard and its accessories. First for the motherboard. Motherboard comes packaged in a box with a anti-static top to it, of course. As I said, I already placed the processor in, but this would be your socket cover, which you should always pull out from the bottom. And let's go ahead and pull out the motherboard. Here we go. Okay. If we go around the motherboard, we can see that here's your socket. It's 1156 socket. You have some nice heat sinks, one, two, three, four, all connected via heat pipe on the top three. If we go over to the RAM, four sticks of RAM, DDR3 dual channel. Towards the side of the motherboard, we will see a debug. We also have your TPU switch, a start switch. A reset switch. This is for your PCIe. Memory OK button. 24 pin power connector. You also have SATA 6 power connectors as well as SATA 3. On the bottom you have a BIOS switch. Removable dual BIOS. Down here are all your connections for your external case, USB, audio, etc. Easy plug on the bottom. Also have one up on the top. We have one, two, three, four PCIe slots and two PCIe one and a four slot. Bluetooth. If we turn it to the side and look at the I, the I.O., we have our speaker ports for external speakers, USB 3.0 tube, we have dual LAN, two more USB and two on top here for USB 3.0. We also have USB 3.0 up on the top by the PS2 connection. Turning it around towards the bottom, you can see that the connector is an 8-pin power connector for your CPU. And if we turn the, the board around, we see one, two plates to hold the heat sinks, and we also see a plate for the socket. So, let's take a look at its accessories. The Asus Maximus 4 Extreme Motherboard comes with a lot of accessories. One thing that you might have saw which was on the box that I didn't point out when, we, uh, when I showed you the motherboard is the Bluetooth. 
The Bluetooth module is actually a clip-in module, which go, clips into that port right there on the motherboard, which allows you to do the ROG Republic of Gamers Connect, uh, do the RC Bluetooth, and the ROG iDirect. Since this is SLI capable and it has an NF200 chipset, it does have a three-way SLI bridge. You're also going to get a USB back panel plate for your expansion. These connectors here are actually probes. You can set the probes to different parts on the motherboard to monitor different temperatures. Also, on this side here, you can connect your multimeter to measure your voltages and your rails. You have eight SATA connectors. And here is your uh, probe it quick um, ports for your for your uh, measurements. These connectors are to put onto your port on the bottom for your case so you don't have to worry about messing around with with the case wires. Just plug them into here and plug it directly onto the motherboard. It's quick, simple, and easy. We do have some cable ties so you can tie your cables. I uh, know if you're like me, you like to hide your cables and route them real nice so you get a lot of airflow around your motherboard. This does help. We have an SLI bridge, a crossfire bridge, a USB cable, and of course your I.O. plate, which is insulated on the back, which goes right there. Amongst that we have the ROG exclusive feature guide. This will tell you everything you need to know about the Bluetooth, the ROG Connect, and the ROG iDirect. Your user's manual Inside the user, user's manual, of course, is the driver disk. And we also have some stickers so you know which cables are which when you're routing your cables. And no Republic of Gamers motherboard comes complete without the Republic of Gamers case sticker. For further information on this motherboard and to read the full review, please come to www.hitechlegion.com and you can read the written review as well as watch a couple other videos that we have on this motherboard. Thank you and have a nice day. See you next time.